Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a Happy New Year. I know that it's only two days left until <laughs> New Year. And uh, I'm only now dropping my best albums list of 2018. But I'm super excited. I've been working on them for so long. I've probably changed like 500 things, <laughs> like 500 times, all the albums, like order and stuff like that. Uh, because it's really exciting. It's just really exciting to do this list. You know, the reason why uh, we listen to music in the first place, like so that in the end of the year to evaluate to like come back to the best moments uh, the best music of 2018 and just like fucking get it in one place and just fucking jam to it and enjoy and just like making this list is really incredibly amazing if you're like me you have watched uh, other um, lists already like by other creators you know um, I'm not the only one music reactor for of course let's be honest right so but it's still you know we don't get tired of it you know we just still watch who comes with what list you know <laughs> because it's freaking exciting the best time of the year for a music reviewer to be honest uh, because you share uh, what you have been listening to all the whole year and the, the viewers um, are relating to it or not relating to it and by the way what's your favorite album of 2018 before we get into this list finally this exciting list of 30 freaking best albums of 2018 without further ado let's jump into this all right album number 30 we have what is love by clean bandit sonically is really pleasing uh, this genre is uh, dance electronic style number 29 we have by the way i forgive you by brandy carlisle this album uh i've as i mentioned in the grammy nominations i already heard this album um you know i was really surprised when i saw this name uh, by the way i forgive you on literally like a uh, album of the year nominations like the song of the year nominations like damn brandy carlisle holy fuck like this is incredible for her of course like she was not uh, like a big artist, you know, not many people know her, but I am the like one of the few people <laughs> that actually heard this record before the Grammy as I uh, mentioned and um, yeah, like I um, come, Came back to it though to this album uh, After Grammy nomination and listened to it and I realized uh, that I, I kind of slept on this album because like I've only like listened to this album like two three times and then just dropped it sort of I uh, never came back to it, even though I was really impressed at that time. But I came back to it now, after the Grammy nomination, I've been listening since then, uh, the whole December, and it's freaking fire. Like, this album is really good, and uh, I cannot wait uh, for Brandy Carlisle to get at least something in the Grammy nominations, because it, uh, in Grammys, because she deserves it. Album 28, we have I Am. Uh, greater than I was by 21 Savage incredible incredible album 21 Savage probably one of my favorite ar artists this year because he has uh, killer features you know on Cardi B's record on Travis uh, Scott's record he have been doing a lot of great features and uh, of course of course the best features we got uh, from 21 Savage on Metro Boomin project not all heroes wear capes we will come back to it later by the way but mwah, 21 Savage, ah, great job. Uh, number 27, we have Icarus Falls by Zayn. Personally, really didn't expect <laughs> him to deliver a great album because uh, 27 tracks, uh, it was scary. Uh, usually this kind of amount of tracks um, disappoint, uh, you know, they don't deliver a great album, but uh, this time it actually came through and Zayn did a great job. They're like, I would say, 23 out of 27 songs I like, you know, like maybe only four songs that are kind of skippable for me. But like when I came come back to this album, like I want to listen to the whole thing. I want to listen to uh, like great performances by Zayn. I love the songs Entertainer, Let Me, uh, fuck I forgot the others, <laughs> The Good Guy, uh, Imprint, Satisfaction, you know, like there's so many tracks, you know, scripted. Fuck, like, I can be naming the whole album pretty much. Uh, Rainberry, though. Rainberry, my shit. Rainberry. Rainberry, please. It's fucking dope. Uh, good Years. 
the, anyway, a lo lot of great songs, a lot of great songs. Uh, I was impressed. Uh, genre is, let's say pop. Uh, album 26, um, Against All Logic, damn. The album is called 2012 to 2017 by Against All Logic. Um, I, I forgot the, uh, the dude's name, like this is a producer. Uh, who creates really great uh, uh, music and great, really great sonic experience like his approach to the music is just mind-blowing it's fantastic I really enjoyed it the lush grand production look I'm talking about this like it's like a movie you know like it starts you know you're anticipating what's gonna happen and then it's coming yes all right, come on, let's go. It's fucking, I don't know, the, the aesthetic, you know, it's fucking, it's fucking gorgeous. It's fucking nice. This album is an instrumental album, pretty much. If you want to put something into the background, just the instrumentals, like, so that, like, for your uh, homeworks, like, to be focused, like, this is fucking jam. Like, I really suggest it. All right, we have uh, album 25, we have Black Panther. Album 24, we have Daytona by Pusha T. It's uh, like, if you want straight rap bangers, you know, you have like seven straight rap bangers on that album on Daytona. So just have it like straightforward, like no fucking Lil Palm kind of deal, no 6 9 kind of like straight gangsta rap, like, like you got it, bro, like Daytona. Uh, it's good to go. Uh, genre, as I said, hip hop. Album 23, we have Taboo by Denzel Curry. Uh, Taboo is very versatile. Like there, ha there has like some crazy songs, like the, some bangers, like party bangers. Like you fucking, you lose your mind and stuff like that. But there are some songs, uh, like um, like some chiller songs, especially at the beginning. Um, there are some West Coast vibe, uh, like very uh, the track um, Black Balloons, the sound of it, and the track three I forgot the name, but uh, they remind me of GTA Vice City, for example, like my childhood because like I imagine this sunny like good day and uh, um, you know it's just chill, it's nice uh, the. the the, what's happening sonically over there so it's very versatile i like it album number 22 we have bobby tarantino 2 by logic album 21 we have man of the woods by justin timberlake now many people uh can say uh, like they have put this album as like their worst album of the like year and stuff like that but i enjoyed the fuck out of this project because i really love justin timberlake and uh me loving uh someone's music doesn't guarantee that you know i'm gonna love everything for example this happened to drake scorpion you know i'm a fan of drake i'm, I'm a fanboy of drake but this like, scorpion just didn't deliver but man of the woods delivered you know I, it's like justin timberlake to its finest like i don't know why it's just people didn't like it probably because like it was different this time sonically you know farrell williams was implementing his uh like the bouncy juicy sort of beats into it and kind of like threw people off but personally i really love this sound that's why i praised uh nerds album last year um i will i will praise sweetener by ariana grande be, uh, which also uh, pharrell williams uh, produced and you know man of the woods there's so great so many great songs oh my god oh yes 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 <laughs> you know like I, i'm reminding myself like living off the land supplies and like uh say something you know songs like that it's just like damn uh, album 20 dicaprio 2 by jid <laughs> like this album, I reviewed this album as well. Um, like Man of the Woods, um, the copy too. It's a G. I, I knew this guy last from, from last year as well. Uh, somebody actually in the comments suggested me to listen to Jid's album Never Story, and that album made a lot of buzz. But um, I personally, I mean, I appreciated it, I but I wasn't really a fan of it. But this album. DiCaprio 2, this fucking banger. It's, it, I was legit thinking to put it in top 10. Um, but, but like so many great albums of 2018, like, uh, so that's why it's only like album 20. But, but damn, like this year, by the way, can we just talk? 
can we just appreciate this year's music it's been a fucking long year and and like it's been a good year at least for me um like with so many things happened this year and in, in, in and the music it's the same like black panther like it already feels like it, it dropped like 10 years ago like it's been such a long time that black panther movie came like do you remember like going to the movie theater watching black panther like do you remember like it's so long ago but it was this year <laughs> you know it's like damn bro uh this ha uh since this year has been long the music um you know there were lots of music as well so uh DiCaprio 2 definitely delivered uh of these featuring J Cole mm. oh don't get me even started on that damn that fucking per uh, performance by both of these men delicious Oxnard album 19 album 18 some rap songs by Earl Sweatshirt I it's my first time listening to Earl Sweatshirt's project I have heard this uh, man's name for a long time like even like since 2016 but this is my first time actually um, diving into his project and I'm I was really impressed bro like I really fuck with this style like the the production the mix was so muddy though like I first I thought like why is it like not clean why is it so dirty like when you listen to it, you, you you literally I wanted to take a vinyl of this record and just like take it and then like whew, like clear all the dust from it because it's so muddy like the, like even you listen to it like so uh, sort of warped like but it works like i really um i'm really glad that he did this like his vision on this was great and he produced most of these tracks bro like and what he says the lyrics it's so like emotional in the sense that he deals with depression he deals with anxiety like drug addiction like all like bad shit is happening like with mental health like his dad passed away not so long ago and like he's like putting everything onto this album and like that's why it's like like he's really showing his state of mind with the songs and i just i was just blown away like how well it worked like this album like for me <laughs> since it uh, dropped like in the beginning of december like for me this was literally christmas music because the beats like they're looped they're repeating itself but like they're like they they have that Christmas vibe into the, the tune. The tune. Like it's like it's it really felt like Christmas, although he was really talking about some you know sad things. But um, yeah, I I really enjoyed this project. Album seventeen we have Yay by Mr. Kanye. Album sixteen we have Shawn Mendes uh, by Shawn Mendes. Uh, genre pop pop uh, but it's it's a nice sweet pop album uh, a lot of and it's very versatile there were songs like mutual and uh, where were you in the morning with julia michaels nervous lost in japan in my blood you know so many nice high quality tracks we need like and guitar is over there as well like so many things happening pianos like lost in japan the beginning intro you know, it's it's so beautiful, bro. I really enjoyed this project, honestly. Great, fantastic job, Shawn Mendes. Album fifteen, we have El Mal Querer by Rosalia. Mm. This album is very sweet. This is genre, I would say, flamenco pop. Uh, she's from Barcelona. Uh, I'm supporting my club. You know, like I've I've been in Spain as well. Uh, it's a it's a probably the best city I've ever been. The way oh my gosh, she constructed these songs, bro. We have songs like Malamente. Malamente is so great. Like, and I love the, how this album uh, project uh, like projects this claps. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Undo stress, undo stress, undo stress, undo, undo, undo stress, undo stress. It's like, uh, I've literally, I was driving uh, and I was listening to this project and like, <laughs> like I, my hand was not on the wheel, okay? My hand was 
<laughs> like oh, just clapping, you know, like I was uh, the rhythm stuff. Ah man, I, I really couldn't help myself but clap because like the, the clapping it's what makes the flamenco flamenco pop if I've heard what it is uh, is uh, <laughs> it's so good like she she really brought that pretty much old like folklore into uh, mainstream into Spanish mainstream and she she uh, made a great fusion of trap you know the trap uh, bangers that are really famous around the world you know hip-hop is really famous around the world right now she included that she included this like old style uh, things and it's like her voice is incredible the way she even constructed these songs are so freaking fire so delicious this album bro all right I speak I've spoken a lot uh, let's go faster <laughs> album 14 Camila by Camila Cabello uh, 10 fantastic tracks nothing else to add like <laughs> she's adorable like she was really one of the biggest artists of 2018 like she was really great i love her project album 13 we have my dear melancholy by the weekend it's only six tracks but it got in me into my feelings i i just couldn't help it like it's so it's it drives me crazy you don't want to listen to it because it really makes you sad like it really makes you listen to um it really especially like if uh, something is happening in your life with a relationship like you really don't want to put this on because this is life-changing fucking music like because you if you want to put these things like something bad's gonna happen for sure like i was i remember how i fucking uh i was listening to this and i was having a, a bad time uh with uh, one of my f female friends to who i um I, I had some feelings um now we're just friends uh, no no feelings uh, like it's working out great but uh, at that time, like, I wanted something more, she didn't, and, like, I wanted to fucking just <laughs> throw this album to her face, <laughs> like, buy the CD and put it to her, uh, under her door, <laughs> because, like, she so that she would open the door and just see this fucking, the image of the weekend and understand that, oh, it's that definitely fucking Bob did it, because only Bob can do this kind of <laughs> like weird creepy stuff <laughs> she would get it and listen to this all six songs and fucking know how i feel because like that's how i felt that's how i felt all this time you know like this is life-changing <laughs> like my dear melancholy like only listen to it when when there is no like uh threat like there you you are sure that you will not do any threat to anybody okay <laughs> like <laughs> this this album is so great i love it invasion of privacy by cardi b number 12 um, i love this project and it deserved the grammy nomination honestly because uh cardi b was also versatile she showed how great she can be actually like every single song is fucking dope and like lots of hits uh, we have uh, Ring featuring Kelani. We have I Like It, of course. Um, fucking Body of Cardi. Love that track as well with Twenty One Savage. Um, Drip with Migos. I love it. Like, so many. Be careful, be careful. Every fucking song can be a hit from that uh, album. I do. Na -na 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 -na. With Caesar. It's. I can't even like I want to listen to it again now <laughs> like honestly this albums like I love them so much I love them this sounds so great <laughs> like uh, these are, albums are so great if you feel me like I love them like check at least something out of this if you haven't because these albums are dope In album 11 we have trench by 21 pilots um, genre I forgot about the genres I'm sorry um, the genre for trench is uh, alternative yeah like i would say light rock but let's stick with alternative it's it's gorgeous it's wonderful it's a blessing it's a blessing from the sky um i haven't heard a great uh like alternative like close to rock album in a long time simply because i first of all i'm not really interested i don't really listen to rock that much 
but I do appreciate Nirvana, Green Day, Red Hot Chili Peppers, you know, and much more. But um, like it's been a while. And Trench, I fucking love the fact that it um, shaked my uh, taste a little because like, finally there were even more diversity. Not only dance, uh, not only hip hop, not only pop, not only alternative but fucking okay I'm, I'm sorry alternative uh, different uh, this is kind of different kind of alternative there are a lot of alternative can be anything honestly <laughs> but like th this sort of rocking infusion album uh, trench is just incredibly done incredibly done so many hits out of this i want to put into my best songs of 2018 uh, but due to limited space, I won't be able to, but uh, I'm just showing that there are so many great songs and uh, you you missed a great experience if you haven't listened to this album. Album, oh, top 10 now. Album 10, Sweetener by Ariana Grande. Again, as I said about Pharrell Williams, uh, personally, I love this style, so it worked with me. It was just a very happy, uh, like, we don't, like, if you wanted to have fun, you didn't want to listen to something serious. Ariana Grande sweetener, just like that. It was really like, it, it's a sweetener. It really makes your life sweeter. It makes you happy. And that's what I took from it. I really love the experience. Album number nine, Kitsy Ghost by Kanye West and Kid Cudi. Um, duo, I always dreamed of um, collaborating more. And um, we got an album. From these two dudes i love those dudes so much and uh, they delivered you know this experimental like the genre is like hip-hop but like there's more into it there's literally rock type of things worse there goes down ghost town part two free i feel free it's like like so punchy like and the, the really had the rock aesthetics to it like all seven tracks are like on point, straightforward. It's like so, like hits you on the face with the, the punch lines, the witty, witty lyrics. Impressed by how Kanye West uh, dropped incredible verses on this project. And Kikari, the dude sounded cold blooded as hell. This was a great project. I'm so, I'm so reborn. I'm moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, and no stress on me, Lord. I'm moving forward. The second, like, damn. Oh my God. And in the fucking track one with Pusha T, I can still feel the love. And the, the second track, Fire. It's like the way it starts, like so punchy again. Dum 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 dum. It's like it just blew my mind. It blew my mind how great this project was. Album 8, Pains of Growing by Alicia Cara. This album, uh, I didn't see anyone talking about this, like uh, other like reaction channels or whatever. I didn't see any Pains of Growing review. And I didn't do it myself too, <laughs> honestly, but I wish I did, I wish I did. And this album is, a, is a gorgeous, it's beautiful. Beautiful uh, genre, um, pop, pop. It's a great pop album, but it's not like like mainstream pop. Like like it's not like a radio hits or no. This is like pure artistic, soulful, um, chill, nice um, album with deep lyrics that gets into your feelings. That it's like really relatable. That that makes you feel emotions and like you become really emotional i was legit i i think like i, I almost ended up crying um on the song out of love because that performance like the i love when the vocalist can literally like hit you to the point that you feel so emotional and like you you feel the pain of the artist and like you, you relate to it and then like you become very emotional and like you almost like and, and, Sometimes you end up even crying. Like that's how powerful music can be. And Alicia Cara got this on, on Pains of Growing. I loved it. Sonically, it pleased me very much. You're definitely, definitely making yourself a disservice 
if you haven't listened to this project. Bro, like these albums are so great. Um, John Bellion, Glory Sound Prep, album seven. So much great music came in that, uh, it came out, I'm sorry, this year that um, John Bellion's record wasn't so, so like impactful to me like Human Condition was back in 2016. It was, Human condition is my top three for sure. 2016, like that's not even a question. It's 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 a still a great project. It's just man, not seven. <laughs> like I have no much, uh, not else to say. I don't, I don't know why, but I feel like I should justify this uh, decision because you know people were hyping this up by saying this is album of the year. And for sure, like if it's your album of the year, definitely. Like I love the fact that John Bellion makes. Like look, I haven't. I have. A, freaking cover of it you know like uh, it's not like i don't like this project you know i love my man it's still one of my favorite artists okay i'm still with you all right it's just um yeah like other albums just impact a little bit more that's why they i placed them higher but before we uh, before i dig my hole into something bad <laughs> let's actually like talk about how great it was uh stupid deep grew uh that song grew to me um, I love this song. Uh, I love every, every every song. I love every song. Even like the track nine, uh, cautionary tales. I believe. Um, it's. I wasn't really a fan of it uh, at the beginning when I was listening to it, but then it also grew on me too. And like I really love all ten songs. Um, easily, like this this project is still fantastic. Album six, we have Iridescence by Brock Hampton. Album five, we have Not All Heroes Wear Capes by Metro Boomin himself. Uh, this project <laughs> dropped at the same time with Glory Sound Prep, but honestly, like on repeat value, I listen to Not All Heroes Not Wear Capes more uh, than John Bellion. That's how great this album was. Uh, Sway Lee killed it with Borrowed Love. Um, the Travis Scott, oh my god, I'm so in love with Travis Scott music. I've been always a fan of Travis Scott, but this year it fucking like blew my mind too. Like, um, 21 Savage, one of my favorite artists of this year, like really delivered with this. And the the um unit of track two and three with Overdue and Don't Come Out the House, it's so great, so it's like orgasmic it's eargasmic it's mm, yes like i love it you know Th this is hip-hop i want like this is this is fucking adorable this the beats the beats are out of this world the beats are so well uh, produced so well done like i would definitely suggest this album to uh for you if you have if you haven't uh, listen to hip hop. Like if you're not interested in, in hip hop, just check this album out. Just check this album out. There has there there's a lot of features, and I'm sure like sonically, one of the uh, artists will grab you, for sure. You grab your attention. Uh, the Space Cadet with Gunna, uh, the Ten Freaky Girls on the Yacht, uh, like Twenty One Savage. The song Only You, Only You is my jam. It's a Spanish, like, Latin song, like, you know, like, it, like you really dance your ass off. There, There's J, J Balvin, by the way, for uh, um, mainstream appeal, if you're interested. Only You, My Jam. I really love it. Uh, I will be dancing to it, by the way, on the best songs of 2018, so be sure to check <laughs> that video out for sure, because a lot of best songs are out of the this album's like I really love this album. We have come to album number four, Isolation, by Kali Uchis. Um, this album is very beautiful. Um, genre, uh, R and B, R and B. Definitely check it out. It's so beautiful. Mwah! Kali Uchis' voice is so soothing. Like, uh, and the the like sort of dreamy performance. It's like a vanilla in your in your um, ears. It's like uh, the last track, Killer, for example. Like the keys, like the way how, the, how keys are hitting on that record. It's so awesome. It's like um, 
and a lot of other songs like Nuestro Planeta, Tyrant with Georgia Smith. These are 2017 songs, but they will be making my best songs of 2018 because like I've been listening to these songs both of the years a lot. And I, I'm still not tired of them. That's how good they are, you know? Uh, Isolation was a really great project. Listen to it, all right? Like, it's it's gorgeous. It's adorable. Uh, album three, Kamikaze. And by Eminem, yeah. <laughs> top three, huh? Um, we're already at the top three. My man, one well, of my favorite artists um, of all time, Eminem. Um, I really used to say that this is my favorite artist Eminem because he really impacted me so much and I started to listen to hip-hop because of him and um, Eminem I'm so glad I'm so glad that he redeemed himself after revival and Kamikaze was an incredible record one of his best albums in his catalog for sure yo that album uh, Kamikaze bro I loved I loved how Eminem was present this year. He had been working his ass off, uh, like after the surprise kamikaze thing, like music videos, a lot of music videos, SNL performances, freestyles, like everything. Uh, diss tracks, kill shot, it literally killed MGK. It's like, I've, I had fun. This is like really my first time actually you know, seeing Eminem roll out, like album roll out, in which I had so much fun. And as an Eminem fan, I just really enjoyed it. And maybe other people, you know, will not put Kamikaze in their best albums, but I sure fucking will, because I'm a fan. I'm, I love this record. And Lucky You featuring Johnny Lucas, one of the best songs of 2018, hands down. Um, fucking Not Alike, I love how uh, you know, <laughs> they mimicked Drake and Black Boy JB. These songs are fucking dope. Easy. Dirty Computer by Janelle Monet. Album 2. <sighs> Second place. It's a silver, silver medal to her. Uh, genre, pop, R&B, even rap. You know, she loves, uh, she, she has everything that I love. I had so much fun listening to this album. The lyrics, I'm not a female, right? But these lyrics were so fun that I was just like singing along. Like, if you grab my pussy, uh, the pussy grab you back. Something like that. Yeah, my pussy. Like, you know, like this, the, the, she uh, really made the word pussy cool again. You know, like on that record, I really loved it. The, and the song, I Got the Juice. It's like so fun to listen to. You're dancing along in the car. Make me feel one of the sexiest songs of this year, hands down. I I love the experience of this album. And the production is so lush, so grand, so big. You know, um, you can clearly see that how much money and how much effort uh, was spent on this project. And the same goes to album number one. Um, you know, which I'm gonna reveal soon, but Dirty Computer um, is such, such a fun ride, such a joy, a crazy, classic life. That song um, talks about how, you, you know, government screws us up, they don't let us have, they don't let us enjoy our lives. Django Jane, the, like, the, I love how, the way she raps, it's so great, like, fucking, let's stop talking about Nicki Minaj for a second. <laughs> right and like let's appreciate artists like this Janelle Monae uh, I love her rapping like it's been really great um, and it, it happens over this orgasmic sounds and beats like it's pleasing on my ears it's like really it's like a heaven on the ears <laughs> I really love this album all right I'll stop talking about Dirty Computer because <laughs> we are falling short on time number one I was always sure about this album, putting it in number one, because as soon as it came out, I claimed it. This is the album of the year. And I fucking was right, because I was listening to this thing all year <laughs> after it came out. All right. Um, 
like every other people like for example sam was claiming album of the year uh, in john bellin video glory sound prep other people were commenting that i care false is the best album some people were calling it kamikaze but like i never said anything about those albums being album of the year the only album i did say on my video that it's an album of the year is astro world by travis scott no way no way this is frank ocean frank oh what the fuck is the injured in travis <laughs> fuck. hundreds out of ten hundreds sicko mode this this beast man this it's only the third one it's only the third one 17 tracks in total how am i gonna fucking survive just tell me <laughs> sun is down freezing cold that's how we already know drake my dog will probably do it for a louis bell that's just all he know he don't know nothing else this project blew my mind the, i as i said i'm a fan of travis scott but if i wasn't even a fan i would put it there because it's a masterpiece it's just a masterpiece it's it's so well done it's every single song it's a roller coaster you you ride the like you start with number one they start gazing you slowly like going up and then it fucking cuts you down like puts you down like <laughs> like starting from track two carousel oh, well actually uh, the middle of the stargazing already like started to you start to rave like the the beat like uh, it's really like a psychedelic thing is happening already like you're oh, like you're having fun already you know and then it goes like track two carousel of frank ocean track three sycamore drake is like so many transitions over there album f uh, track four is like calms you down a little bit again like you okay you're now you're there you know it, it's a fucking it's a astro it's a music park you know um rip screw are like more r&b approach and uh like soulful singing stop trying to be god same uh, and then you, again like you're going off <laughs> track six no by stands fuck the club up fuck the club up bitch fuck the club up. you know like here again having fun it's like all over the place but like it's so nicely done the songs are so high quality this is the best album I've heard this year for sure, hands down. This is my opinion though. Um, let me know which your which was your album. What do you think about my choice? Let me know in the comments below. In the conversation, let's have a conversation in the comments. In the comments, comment below. What's your favorite album? I will finish the year with the best songs of 2018, and that's it. That's it. Like two days left till New Year. Um, I hope you're ha having a fantastic time at this point, uh, right now. The Christmas already passed, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. I really uh, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate that you're still rocking with this uh, man, Bob, you know, uh, I'm glad that you support me. Really appreciate you, can't thank you enough. Thank you very much, I'll see you in the best songs of the year, and we're gonna claim it off. You know, 2018 is going to be done. All right. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next ones. Peace.